when faith is properly understood and is used, it has dramatically far-reaching effects. Such faith can transform an individual's life from maudlin, common, everyday activities to a symphony of joy and happiness. The exercise of faith is vital to the plan of happiness of Father in Heaven. But true faith, faith unto salvation, is centered on the Lord Jesus Christ, faith in His doctrines and teachings, faith in the prophetic guidance of the Lord's anointed, faith in the capacity to discover hidden characteristics and traits that can transform life. Truly, faith in the Savior is a principle of action and of power. Faith is the foundation building block of creation. I'm confident that the Savior Jesus Christ uses faith in His capacity to act under the direction of Father in Heaven. The Master used it to create the most remote, gal remote galaxies, as well as to compose quarks, the smallest elements of matter we know of today. Yet I have faith that there are yet smaller building blocks in the wonder of creation. Faith in the future is demonstrated by a couple sealed in the temple. They understand that obedience to the teachings of Jesus Christ and the plan of happiness of our Father in Heaven, they can have a joyous life together. They recognize that when challenges intended to be growth opportunities come, they'll find ways, as prompted by the Holy Ghost, to overcome them in ways that are productive and character-building. Faith and character are intimately related, intimately related. Faith in the power of obedience to the commandments of God will forge strength of character, available to you at times of urgent need. Character is not developed in moments of great challenge or temptation. That is when it's intended to be used. Your exercise of faith and true principles builds character. Fortified character expands your capacity to exercise more faith. As a result, your capacity to comfort the trials of life is enhanced. The more your character is fortified, the more enabled you are to benefit from exercising the power of faith. You'll discover how faith and character interact to strengthen one another. Character is woven patiently from applied threads of principle, doctrine, and obedience. We become what we want to be by consistently being what we want to become each day. Righteous character is a precious manifestation of what you are becoming. Righteous character is more valuable than any material object you own or any knowledge you have gained through study or of any goals you have attained, no matter how well lauded by mankind. In the next life, your righteous character will be evaluated to assess how well you use the privilege of mortality. Neither Satan nor any other power can destroy or undermine your growing character. Only you could do that through disobedience. A sterling character is converted into worthless ashes when eroded by deceit or transgression. Strong moral character results from consistent correct choices in the trials and testing of life. Such choices are made with trust in things that are to be believed and, when acted upon, are conferred. What are some of the empowering principles upon which faith is based? Trust in God and His willingness to provide help when needed, no matter how challenging the circumstance. 
obedience to his commandments, and a life that demonstrates that he can trust you. Sensitivity to the quiet promptings of the Holy Spirit. Courageous implementation of that prompting. Patient and understanding when God lets you struggle to grow and when answers come a piece at a time over an extended period. Faith is things which are hoped for and not seen. Wherefore dispute not, because you see not, for you receive no witness until after the trial of your faith. Thus, every time you try your faith, that there is act and worthiness on an impression, you will receive the confirming evidence of the Spirit. As you walk to the boundary of your understanding in the twilight of uncertainty, exercising faith, you'll be led to find solution you would not obtain otherwise. With even your strongest faith, God will not always reward you immediately according to your desires. Rather, God will respond with what is in his eternal plan best for you when it will yield the greatest advantage. Be thankful that sometime God lets you struggle for a long time before that answer comes. That causes your faith to increase and your character to grow. The bedrock of character is integrity. Worthy character will strengthen your capacity to recognize the direction of the Spirit and to be obedient to it. Your consistent exercise of faith builds strong character. A secure foundation for your growing character is laid by making Jesus Christ and his teachings the center of your life, your happiness on earth as well as your eternal salvation, requires many correct decisions, none of which is difficult to make. Together, those decisions forge a character resistant to the eroding influences of sin and transgression. Noble character is like a treasured porcelain made of select raw materials, carefully crafted, formed in faith by consistent righteous acts and fired in the furnace of uplifting experience. It is an object of great beauty and priceless worth, yet it can be damaged in a moment through transgression, requiring painful, prolonged effort to be rebuilt. When protected by self-control, Righteous character will endure for eternity. Material things do not of themselves produce happiness and satisfaction and the joy of attainment on earth, nor do they lead us to exaltation. It is nobility of character. That fabric of inner strength and conviction woven from countless righteous decisions that gives life its direction the consistent righteous life produces an inner power and strength that can be permanently resistant to the eroding influence of sin and transgression. Your faith in Jesus Christ and obedience to his commandments will strengthen your character. Your character is a measure of what you are becoming. It is the evidence of how well you are using your time on earth in this period of mortal probation, the axiom we all understand is that you get what you pay for. That's true for spiritual matters as well. You get what you pay for in obedience, in faith in Jesus Christ, in diligent application of the truths you learn. What you get is the molding of character the growth in capacity, and the successful completion of your moral purpose to be proven and to have joy. This mortal life is a proving ground. 
How well we meet its challenges determines how strong your character will be. Our faith in Jesus Christ and his teachings fortify our character. A testimony is fortified by spiritual impressions that confirm the validity of a teaching, of a righteous act. Often such guidance is accompanied by powerful emotions that bring tears to the eyes and make it difficult to speak. But a testimony is not emotion. It is the very essence of character woven from threads born of countless correct decisions. These choices are made with trusting faith in things that are believed and at least initially are not seen. A strong testimony gives peace, comfort, and assurance. It generates the conviction that as the teachings of the Savior are consistently obeyed, life will be beautiful the future secure, and there will be capacity to overcome the challenges that cross our path. A testimony grows from understanding truth, distills from prayer and the pondering of scriptural doctrine. It is nurtured by living those truths with faith, anchored in a secure confidence that the promised results will be obtained. Satan's increasing influence in the world is allowed to provide an atmosphere in which to prove ourselves. While he causes havoc today, Satan's final destiny was fixed by Jesus Christ through his atonement and the resurrection. The devil will not triumph. Even now he must operate within the bounds set by the Lord. He cannot take away any blessing that has been eternal, earned. He cannot alter character that has been woven from righteous decisions. He has no power to destroy eternal bonds forged in a holy temple between a husband, wife, and children. He cannot quench true faith. He cannot take away your testimony. Yes, these things can be lost by succumbing to his temptations, but he has no power in and of himself to destroy them. To summarize, God causes your faith to mold your character. Character is the manifestation of what you're becoming. Strong character results from consistent, correct choices. The bedrock of character is integrity. The more your character is fortified, the more enabled you are to exercise the power of faith. May I share four principles which have brought the deepest feelings of peace and happiness in my own life. The Lord has established these cornerstones in his eternal plan, and each one is essential. All work together in harmony and reinforce one another. When they are applied with diligence and consistency, they produce strength of character, increasing ability to convert the challenges of life into stepping stones of happiness, now and forever. They are. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and his program to acquire the power to achieve. Repentance to rectify the consequences of mistakes of omission or commission. Obedience to the commandments of the Lord to provide strength and direction in our lives. Selfless service to enrich the lives of others. If you've determined to live righteously, don't become discouraged. Life may seem difficult now, but hold tightly to that iron rod of truth. You're making better progress than you realize. Your struggles are defining character, discipline, and confidence in the promises of your Father in heaven and the Savior as you consistently obey their commandments. May the Holy Ghost prompt you to always make decisions 
that fortify your character and yield much joy and happiness. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.